Well, here we go again. G'day guys, this is Holy Critics signing in. And today, you're really going to want to stick around for my coverage of this little news topic that's just dropped. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, a cultural herpes rash. I think that's the best way to describe them. Because no matter what you do, they just won't go away. Harry has now released his memoirs called Spare. Yeah, spare me one, all right. How about Despair? He is revealing all the skeletons in his closet. His brother, his father, his mother, his wife, his sex habits, his sex habits. I'm not joking. How many people he's killed in Afghanistan? Harry has a gun to his head because his wife wants to milk every little cent destroying him and his family brick by brick. It is quite unbelievable. And this clown show is on view for the whole world to watch. As if the interview with Oprah wasn't bad enough, she did a Netflix documentary, which nobody watched, the equivalent of linguistic masturbation, talking about this amazing life, this amazing childhood she's come from. All made up, all a construct. But she, she's, she's running the show here. Make no mistake, she, she wants these memoirs out. It reflects really well upon her, as you can imagine. As I read on into this story, you're going to find that as much as you can despise Harry, and it's fairly easy to do because he's her mouthpiece, in reality, at the end of the day, he's a victim. He has to sleep next to this thing every day with no end in sight. <sighs> Gives you chills just thinking about it, doesn't it? Prince Harry says his brother William physically attacked him during a ferocious argument. One of many startling allegations in a new memoir that includes revelations about the estranged royal's drug-taking, first sexual encounter, and role in killing people during his military service in Afghanistan. In the ghost-written memoir, secretly written by Megan, titled Spare, Harry said that his brother Prince William lashed out during a furious argument over the siblings' deteriorating relationship. The Associated Press purchased a Spanish-language copy of the book ahead of its publication in 16 languages around the world on Tuesday. Harry recounts a 2019 argument at his Kensington Palace home in which he says William called Harry's wife, the former actor Meghan Markle, difficult, rude and abrasive. What's wrong with that? That's an accurate description of her. In fact, it's kind of light, to be honest. Harry said William grabbed his brother by the collar and ripped his necklace before knocking him down. I landed on the dog's bowl which cracked under my back, the pieces cutting into me, Harry says in the passage first reported. Harry says he had scrapes and bruises as a result of the tussle for which William later apologised. The allegation is one of a slew in a book that exposes painful, intimate and in some cases contested details about the lives of Harry and other members of the royal family. The memoir is the latest in a string of public revelations and accusations by Harry and Meghan that have shaken Britain's royal family. It includes Harry's assertion that he killed 25 people while serving as an Apache helicopter co-pilot as part of Britain's military campaign against the Taliban in Afghanistan. Well, that ended really well, didn't it? He said he felt neither pride nor shame about his actions and in the heat of battle regarded enemy combatants as pieces being removed from a chessboard. I think I stand corrected. Maybe he is a psycho himself. That sounds like something Klaus Schwab would say from the World Economic Forum. You will own nothing and you will be happy. The book recounts Harry's decades of disenchantment with his privilege, scrutinised and constrained royal life. Oh, so constrained. All that free money they're getting. 
In it, he alludes to the book's title, recounting the alleged words of his father, then Prince Charles, to his mother, Princess Diana, on the day of his birth. Wonderful! Now you've given me an heir and a spare. My work is done. While William was destined from birth to be king, Harry, who is fifth in line to the throne behind his brother and William's three children, has often appeared to struggle with the more ambiguous role of spare. In the book, Harry describes his rebellious teenage years. He recounts how he lost his virginity, like anyone on this planet wants to know how that happened, to an older woman in a field behind a pub. <laughs> well, why don't you reveal her name too while you're at it? And describes how he took cocaine when he was 17. Neither Buckingham Palace which represents King Charles III, nor William's Kensington Palace has commented on the allegations. In the series, Harry said William screamed at him during a family meeting and accused the palace officials of lying to protect his elder brother, who is now the heir to the throne. Megan, 41, talked about wanting to end her life as she struggled to cope with toxic press coverage. Harry has recorded interviews with several broadcasters in Britain and the United States to promote the book. In snippets released in advance, Harry told Britain's ITV that the royal household had cast him and Meghan as villains and shown absolutely no willingness to reconcile. Since Harry and Meghan split from the royal family in 2020, the couple has launched a new life as a US-based charity campaigners and media personalities. Harry has spoken about his desire for a reconciliation with his brother and father, hopefully televised for their Netflix documentary sequel. Now, you might strongly disagree with me when I attribute victim status to Harry, because how could somebody that privileged be a victim? But the truth is, it underestimates just what a mastermind Megan really is. You could compare her to uh, Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct. She's pulling the strings here. She's playing him like a fiddle and exploiting all of his vulnerabilities. And he does have vulnerabilities. You've got to remember there's a lot of expectation in, in that life and he didn't choose it. And then you add on top of that his mother dying and father remarrying Camilla. And it's probably... The rift has probably been there before Megan even showed up on the scene. But once she figured him out, once she scoped him, she realized that if she could drive a wedge even deeper between him and his family, she could achieve a status higher than even royalty without even having to do royal duties, which are a bit of a chore, to be honest. No, she wants to keep the royal money. No doubt about that. I mean, they're writing books and doing documentaries and little exposés in magazines, selling the pictures of their children, no doubt. But there is a little, little piece of evidence that kind of supports what I'm saying. The Duke of Sussex, 38, sat down with TV anchor Anderson Cooper for CBS News 60 Minutes in a new interview set to be released on Sunday. I went into this incredibly naive, Harry told Cooper. I had no idea the British press was so bigoted. Hell, I was probably bigoted before the relationship with Meghan. Harry talks about Meghan's struggles with the press, which may have been made difficult for the Duchess to adjust to her life as a royal. What Meghan had to go through was similar in part to what Kate and Camilla went through. Very different circumstances, but then you add in the race element and, well, the British press jumped on it straight away. When asked by Cooper to confirm if he was bigoted before meeting Megan, Harry responded, I don't know. Put it this way, I didn't see what I see now. Why? Because she's told you what a nasty racist you are, and but don't worry, she'll fix you. You're a real fixer-upper, you know. She worked on him all right. She worked him over. Harry opened up about the damaging allegations made against his family during the couple's bombshell Netflix documentary. Harry defended himself and Meghan against criticism of their decision to publicly blast the royal family. 
The Duke insisted that he has tried to do this privately, like right now, talking to you, Anderson, but that every single time there have been briefings and leakings. You know the family motto is, never complain, never explain, but it's just a motto and it just doesn't really hold. Harry's upcoming autobiography is said to be so cutting of his brother William that the pair may not be able to reconcile their differences following its release on January 10. The book will be published just weeks after he and Megan released their Netflix series Harry and Megan detailing their relationship and split from the royal family. Reports have also emerged that Megan is planning to publish her own bombshell memoir. Ah, again? Struggling to remain relevant, I see. What will come after this? A drama series, perhaps? Where she stars as herself, maybe? She wanted to be an actress all her life, and here's her chance. The Duchess of Sussex is contemplating getting entirely candid about her time in the royal limelight and leaving no stone unturned. In 2021, the couple reportedly signed a four-book deal <laughs> with Penguin Random House. Prince Harry is said to have received a $20 million advance for spare. Well, there you have it. That's about all I can say about this farce, this charade that's been going on. I can't say it isn't entertaining, though. But whatever you do, if there's one takeaway you get from this video, please do not buy these books because you're spreading the cultural herpes rash and you're giving your vote of support for these two cretins. Believe you me, if they get enough publicity, if they get enough sales, there'll be a sequel in the not too distant future and there'll be a few more dirty little secrets they'll reveal. Like, where are the bodies buried? And... Who has sex with who? And in what order? In the royal family. Prince Andrew? Ooh, we've got plenty of stuff on him. But you've got to buy the first book to find out. But there's one thing you can do. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And this is Holy Critic signing out.